I'm going to show you how to um, fix this error. So right now this error is saying um, cannot access Wagu calculations. Um, or you might get an error that says cannot find the symbol of something. And this is in Java, by the way. So the first thing is um, you see how uh, this employee, see how employee is in the, I put a file for employee.java and I make a file by pressing this right here. And then when I, when I press it, it says, what do you want to name your file? And then that's how I did it. So this is telling me that, um, I mean, sorry, one of the main errors is that this is main and main goes where it goes in your main <laughs> function or your main file. And I put it instead in the employee file. So if you are, if you have an error, Try to, like this, similar to this, try to see if your main function is not in the main, I mean, your main function is not in the main file. Because ev most every, I think every Java program needs a main file. And so if you have a main file, but you put in like, for, for instance, what I did, employee.java, then it's not, you know, it's, there's going to be an error. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this code over to my main function. I mean, my, my main file. Okay. There we go. The next thing is I have another one. I, I call this main, but it's not main. We're just going to copy this. We're just going to copy this over here. And then we're going to do this now. Okay, so now it's saying that employee is public. And it should not, it should be declared in a file named employee.java. So what's happening here, main function, I mean, my main file is public. So you should declare it and a file named employee.java. So what it's telling me is that I should put this back over here. And some people might do that. But I'm about to tell you that's not the case. What you need to do instead is make that employee class a main class. OK, so make that employee class. And this is specifically for this compiler. I think when you're actually doing this with another compiler or Separately, you won't have this problem, but you know, I don't know for a fact. Okay, so I'm just using specifically this compiler, but if you have this error, um, here's how to fix it. So right now I just I just changed this to main. So now those those errors should be should be gone. So wow, it's now it's saying main is public should be declared in main.java. <laughs> oh yeah, it is declared in, in main.java. Okay, so what's going on here, you ask? Well, what happened? What happened is that now it's telling me that this main right here, because before it was the other main. So we got rid of one error, but now we're getting that this main and this um, file, which is employee.java, is um it should be declared in the main function but that's not what we're going to do instead we are going to call it something okay so look at this error right here oops it says error cannot access wagu wa oh this why am i saying wagu wage calc calc you so wage calculate employee is this, and this is in the main function, by the way. At least that's what it's saying. I don't think it's here. It's um, oh, here it is. So it's it cannot it cannot find that. So what's going on? So if you get an error that says cannot access a variable, well, this is what you should do. 
Okay. Well, here's another one. File does not contain class Wagu. Please remove or make sure it appears in the correct subsidiary of the source, or in other words, the correct file, subsidiary, file, sub subdirectory, or file. So what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, do this. We're going to uh, first, there's two things we need to do. The first thing is change this to wage calc -U, okay? That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to delete this. I changed, this was employee. I changed it to um, wage.clock. Why would I do that? Because it's saying here that um, cannot access wage calc in this one from the main. And we knew to change this one because it's the only other file. But also, I'm about to show you. Let's, so let's, let's try to run this. And then now it's saying what we expected to say. It's saying um, class main is public. It should be declared in the class main. That's not right. So now all we have to do, oh shoot, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. I accidentally just put that right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, perfect. So you might have been confused a little, but let me go over what I did. So the main errors that you will probably have when you see the, the main things you have to do when you see those errors is make sure that this class that's in your main file says main. So public class main because it's in the main file. And when it comes to Java, you have to name the class what you name the file in order for the compiler to run it. The next thing is, um, Oh, and you're like, how, well, how would I know which one is my, which one I should put in my main? Well, because whichever one that has the main function with the string arguments is the one that you would put in your main file. The next thing is uh, when you name your files, be sure you name it uh, based on the class. So before this was employee or this was something else, this was main. And it was the compiler is telling me cannot access main or or main should be in the main file. So you all you do is change it, you change it, and then you also change this. And finally, but not not less important, um, whenever you get an error that says, um, let's say something like cannot access this variable. In this case, it was cannot access wage calcu. What it was telling us is that the main function that has wage calculator calcu employee right here cannot be accessed because the class was not titled or was not named wage calcu. So we changed the class name. And now it runs, see? So let's let's try it now. Enter employee's name. Let's call him Ty. Enter how many hours worked? Five. <laughs> Enter hourly weight, $22. Sadly, the, the program is not completely finished, but that it still runs. So mainly this was to show you how to fix the error. Hope you enjoyed this.